So Roy, yes. you are one of these intrepid astronomers that travel the state to do some stargazing and this telescope is pretty impressive. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, um, this one is a refractor, a 150ED, uh, very similar to the first telescopes. The refractors give you very crisp stars, pinpoint stars with a very dark background. Uh, absolutely fantastic for deep sky wide field views, where this one is called a Smith Cassegrain. Um, the Smith Cassegrain, if it was actually it's called a folded design, if it was the same as this one, it would be four metres long. Oh, so wow. At the front is a lens yep. that brings, focuses the light to the back mm -hmm. where there is a mirror. It then bounces up to a smaller mirror and then down in the tube, that's where you actually get the four metres in length. That is a very high powered telescope. Such things as the moon, even with the wide eyepieces, I can't get the whole moon in that telescope. Where with this one, I can get it through. Wow. The and see the so, whole what's moon. the aperture of the big one? Uh, this one is a 14 inch. And yep. This is a 6 inch, so 150 or a 350. Right, beautiful. And I. I have looked through this telescope, people, and it is incredible. Do you have a favourite sort of object you like to go for, like galaxies, or do you like planets? Uh, myself, personally, I much prefer um, nebula. Okay. Yes, yeah, uh, Orion Nebula, your tarantula. Um, Eta Carina is a beautiful one I love to show people because you actually see a star that's blowing up. You can see the outer shell from where it has blown up. Um, which is quite amazing that you can actually see a star that's actually destroying itself. Yes. Um, but of course, through the 14 inch, the planets are absolutely fantastic. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter, unbelievably, as good well oh, as the pictures. I, I imagine that would be the case. And so you're a volunteer. We've come up to the Murchison settlement. It's yes. a pretty big journey. Yes, what sort hours. of brings you out to join us here doing these stargazing events? Oh, I just love doing the community. Um, uh, open stargazing, yep, uh, public viewing nights. I yep. uh, quite enjoy it. I like hearing people go, wow, that never seen through a telescope properly, never seen Jupiter or Saturn or the Moon properly. It's, uh, it's fulfilling. Yep. Yeah. It's enjoyable. Well, it's so wonderful that you share your knowledge and expertise and this amazing gear with the local people, yeah. communities, any general public. So, you know, good on you for doing That's that. We're, we're sort of expanding people's minds. Right. Yes. People seeing things I've never seen before that's right under their, right under their feet, if you like, <laughs> <up> above the head. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for speaking with us today. Thank you.